and welcome to Sew Your Stash. Today on Sew Your Stash, we are going to be working on projects from our sewing stash. But, of course, we have to have our mustache. Mm -hmm. Chances are, if you're a seamstress, or if you like to sew, looks like we got something for you. This series is called Sew Your Stash. And we are going to be sewing our stash. For today's Sew Your Stash, I'm actually going to go back and work with the marble fabric. If you guys remember, I made a dress that is reversible using this fabric. So let's see what I can come up with today. This is the fabric that I'm going to be working with today. I have one big piece here on the black and I don't have anything else. I just have lots of little scraps. So this big piece is probably what we're going to be working with. I also have the white here, and I also still have one big white piece here, so I'm thinking maybe I can make a brand new caftan with this. Do you mind? What is your problem, Bowsy? <laughs> okay, so what I'm first going to do is I'm going to clean up the fabric so I have enough square footage to work with. So I'm just going to cut off all these shreddy, strippy bits and see how big these squares actually are. Now that I've got these into like semi-clean areas, I'm going to cut off any of the excess and create it into a complete rectangle. So this top area has like a bunch of these little scallop parts. So what I'm going to do is just find the lowest point and then just cut from there. I did make little lines here to where I need to cut it. So I did make lines. I'm not going to hide it from you all. Okay. And this is rectangle one. Oh, that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to show you my process. I'm going to mark it like this. So I've gone ahead and pinned the sides together, making a nice circle. And so now that both sides are pinned together, we're going to sew down this side. Make sure to use a jersey needle because this fabric is stretchy. Okay, so take out a measuring tape and measure how long you want your shoulders to be. My shoulders are going to be five inches, ideally 13 centimeters. So I'm going to make sure I remember that and I'm going to mark it off on my fabric. Next, I'm going to take the new seams that I just made creating this tube and I'm going to put it in the center because I want two toned. Now I'm going to pin the entire top together and I'm going to take that five inches from the side inward. So we're so I'm going to make sure I mark my 13 centimeters or five inches well it's basically this blue pin here so to, in order for me to mark it instead i'm going to be using this sewing clip and i'm going to put it where it needs to be now i'm going to repeat that on the other side and then sew it down using my stretchy stitch once i hit that mark i am done with the top for now so far, you should have it looking like with your two seams in the center. Now that I have the shoulders sewn together, I'm actually going to go back before I finish this and I'm just going to reinforce the seam here and I'm just going to fold it over to the gray side or the black side and sew it down on this inside seam, making sure that it goes on top of it. So this part is totally optional, but this is just going to reinforce the seam and make this garment last a long time. So now I'm going to take my tape measure and just go um, down my 
armhole and like my armpit area. I'm gonna start at the top because it's gonna have to wrap around and I'm just gonna go around to a little bit lower than my breast and that is 10 inches. So with 10 inches, I'm pre-marked it onto my fabric with this little sewing clip. I'm just gonna cut it all the way open, all the way down, and this will create my sleeve. Now you're probably wondering, do I need to hem these raw openings? Not with this material because it is stretchy and it is woven, so it's like t-shirt fabric, it will not fray. So I have the shirt on here. You can see it's still got this square cutout. I love how it's looking except for the neckline. So I'm going to open up the front part creating kind of like a little scoop with kind of cutting out a semicircle here. I'm going to fold it over first and then cut it out. Now the front part of the shirt, I'm going to add two eyelets, one on both collars. I'm going to cut up some of my leftover remnants into a really long strip and sew that on the inside creating a waist tie. I'm going to fold my center front in half, basing it off of my seam. I'm going to pin the entire top together and flatten out my shirt as much as possible and slowly sketch out how much I want to scoop on the top. It's better to scoop out less and then go back and take out more. I kind of knew that I wanted it to be a little bit bigger overall, so I just ended up taking out a big chunk. When I was happy with the new curve of my neckline, I went ahead and cut it out, making sure that I didn't have any bumps or folds before moving forward with the scissors. I already installed one little grommet here, and in order for me to mark the other side, I actually pinned down the bottom hem and folded it over just so it would lay properly on my table. I'm going to take a silver marker and slightly mark it in the middle. Now I'm going to go back in through here, and I see my silver marker here. I'm going to use a scissor to cut it open. And I don't need it to be that big of a cut either. So just something large enough for the eyelet to fit. So now that I got the eyelet hole big enough, I'm just going to go ahead and slide this inside it and have it poke out just like this. Now that it's there, I'm going to put the female counterpart on top of the male. I'm going to use my eyelet puncher. Not really a puncher, but my grommet holder. Sorry about the dog. And I'm just going to squeeze. Now that I have this, I'm just gonna press it nice and down. And there we go. We have a nice, perfectly completed eyelid. Now I'm gonna cut off the salvage edge and use this as my material to come around in the front. I have this super long cord. This, this is actually extremely long. I'm not sure how long you are, but let's see. If I stretch it out to the maximum, actually, this is 25 even right here. So nice and straight, 25 even on the dot. So what I'm gonna do is take this middle point and sew it to the back. What I'm going to do is actually mark the middle point of where the grommets are set, and I'm going to go flip it to the back. Now the back has this nice little metal pin here, making me able to figure out where I want to place my string. I'm going to grab a needle and just sew it in. I could use the sewing machine, but I really want to hide this stitch, so I'm going to use a hand needle. I'm going to find this middle point that I already have, and I'm going to just start sewing in the middle here going in a few times just to secure the knot. And now I'm just going to start sewing on top of this. There's no wrong way to sew this in, honestly. Just make sure that it is nice and secure. So one, you can do 20 like stitches, you can do five, tw like 10 good stitches. It's up to you. Making sure it's nice and secure. 
Once you have all your stitches in and you're happy with it, go ahead and grab your scissors. Cut. Take your little loopies here and thread them through your front holes. So bring it around to the front. Feed it in and just pull it out. If you have a hard time pulling it out like me, you could always use a needle and just pull it out on both sides. I have both these cords coming out the front. Uh, before I try it on, I'm just going to make a quick little knot here so I can take it out and that way it doesn't slip out when I'm trying it on. Remember to keep a healthy stash by sewing your stash. And that way, we have beautiful, creative products out there in the world. Make sure to share with sew your stash hashtag. And we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.